Hello, and welcome back to my channel. If you enjoy the content, please subscribe to the channel, like the videos, opt in for the notifications, and share. Thank you. Have you ever been placed in a position where you're forced to wait? Meaning that you can't do anything, you can't go anywhere, but you're waiting on a move from God or you're waiting on a change in your life or you're waiting on a healing or something like that, but you're waiting. During the process of waiting, the enemy uses all kinds of tactics to bring in fear and anxiety. One of the things that he does, though, is he causes us to create scenarios in our mind. The scenarios that we are creating in our minds are scenarios that ends our waiting or finds results, gives us results in our mind for what we're waiting on. So we begin to purpose or we begin to focus on that scenario, thinking that that's how my wait or that's how my victory is going to end. We have to keep in mind that the scenario we may have created in our mind is not something that God gave us. It is something that we ourselves have created and put our hope in it. So when it doesn't happen, we ourselves become upset thinking that I, it didn't work out the way I expected it to, but that was not the plan of God. So again, that's why it's so vital for you, or for, as well as for me, not to create scenarios or plan things while we're waiting. The definition of wait is to stay where you are until a particular time or until something else happens. If you can avoid creating scenarios, it will cause you to wait with patience as well as it will cause you not to have as much fear and anxiety or feel that you've been let down or feel disappointed in something you expected to happen that, does, that doesn't or didn't. To give you an analogy or in other words, IOW, if we're sitting in a doctor's waiting room, we don't begin to strategize or plan a strategy or plan a way to get back, get back into the doctor's office before the time frame or try to figure out how to victoriously end this doctor's appointment. We, we just literally do what we are supposed to when we're waiting. We sit and we wait for our name to be called or what have you for us to go back, to go in the back. So it's the same thing when we're waiting for something to happen or we're waiting for our healing or we're waiting for a change to happen. What you do while you're waiting will determine your victory or your anxiety. If you are waiting for a move of God, you're waiting for your healing. When you are waiting, if you are reading the Bible or reading your word or praying or fasting or worshiping and listening to heavenly songs, those things help you to maintain your peace. It helps your mind from racing and from you developing different scenarios that you are creating on your own. Waiting in peace means so much more and helps you. It strengthens you as a worshiper. It strengthens your faith. And it helps you to overcome whatever it is that you need to overcome. As I close, I wish to say this. The word says, consider it pure joy when you go through diverse trials and tribulations because it brings on perseverance. And it's not easy waiting. And it takes a lot of dedication to God. It takes a lot of meditating. It takes a lot of singing and worshiping and reading the word to maintain your peace because the enemy is sitting there consistently trying to give you a scenario in your mind all for the point of you being disappointed when it doesn't work out the way you yourself have put together. So try to if at all cost, not to think of any scenario, but to just do what God wishes us to do, which is wait. Thank you.
for listening. Again, thank you for listening. If you enjoyed the content, please subscribe to the channel, like the videos, opt in for the notifications, and share. Take care. Is there trouble anywhere?